Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be a little new drugstore haul. Most of these products are fairly new to the drugstore, I believe. Some of these are just stuff that caught my eye while I was at the drugstore shopping around and I figured I should pick it up. So I'm going to take you through kind of like mini reviews. I have been using these products for about a week now so I do have kind of like my first impressions and also some slight um, reviews about them because I have been testing them out pretty much every day since. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started. Starting with kind of a boring thing, um, this is not new. This is just the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation, and I get mine in the shade 220. I picked up another one. This is now my fourth bottle. I'm not going to keep them out, but they're just all right here if you can see them. My fourth bottle of this. This is kind of like my go-to foundation. It's a foundation that I can always rely on no matter the day, no matter what I'm looking for, you know, you can have light coverage with it, you can build it up to be full coverage, you can wear this all day long, it's not going to be cakey, patchy, it works when I, my, my skin's really oily, it works when I have kind of some dry patches. It's just an all-in-all -all great foundation. Again, mine is in the shade 220 and it is the foundation that I have on today. Not really going in particular order, I want to say that this is something that is new. This is the Maybelline Brow Drama Pro Palette. I get mine in the shade 255 Soft Brown. And this caught my eye because I have been wanting to play around with my brows a little bit more. You guys know that I really like the Salon Perfect Brow Pomade. Um, that's what I had been using for a long time on my brows. It's starting to slowly dry up now, so I either need to go get a new one, or I figured I would test out some new stuff. So this, you get a trio here. You get a brow wax, a brow powder, and then you get a kind of like highlight powder. I do kind of wish that this was more of a cream base it is just like a powder so and it's not the most pigmented so this I don't really like in this um, little trio here the brow wax is great though and it's a great color these are definitely more taupey browns not really like a warm undertone which goes great with my brows that I have so yeah if you guys are looking to try out a new brow product I highly recommend this I really love this too and it is what I have on my brows today this was definitely new and I I wanted to pick up a sort of like a contour palette I didn't know if I should get one from Maybelline because I know they have one as well um, but this caught my eye I really wanted the wet n wild contour and highlight duo for that highlight powder but they were sold out where I went so um, yeah this is the Rimmel London this is just like a three-step highlight contour blush. This is the Kate Moss, I believe, line, and I love their line of lipsticks that she has. So this I really caught my eye. I did get the deepest shade. They did have three shades to choose from, and I got this one mainly because um, the bronzers of the other ones seemed way too light, although I know looking at this, this one seems way too dark. Um, but this is what I use to bronze first with my Real Techniques blush brush um, to give an overall bronze to the face, and then I also then took my Sephora 74 contour brush that you guys see in all of my videos and I think because it's a smaller brush so then I kind of did more of a little chiseling out did it under my lip like always and then on my nose and the sides of my nose really really like it it's a very pigmented um, but smooth and kind of like buttery textured formula so that's really nice and now the one thing about this bronzer shade though is it kind of has like a red undertone which I'm not very used to in bronzers. It usually has like an orange or that gray undertone but this one has kind of like a red undertone so it kind of threw me off at first but I can still work with it so if you do have a tan I feel like this will definitely suit you. Um, and then this blush is gorgeous. I feel like this is such a universal blush. It's kind of like that peachy shade that does have some like a golden sheen over it. And then a beautiful champagne golden highlight. Love it. So this is a blush I do have on as well. And then the highlight I have on mixed with another highlighter. Overall, you guys, this is an amazing, amazing deal. I think this is like under $7. And yeah, perfect for traveling as well. Speaking of highlighting like I was just talking about, this thing is huge for one. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Illuminating Palette. And this is, I want to say it's newer. It's at least a new formula. It has that sticker that always catches my eye. Um, yeah, this thing is ginormous though. Like you can see my hand compared to it. It is huge. So what I really like about this is it's going to be suitable for all different skin tones um, and just whatever your preference is because it starts off with a beautiful kind of like deepish gold over here. You go into a gorgeous pink, a very light soft pink, and then a typical nice champagne. So you can of course swirl these all together and get a beautiful mixture of colors. Um, I really like to go in with this golden shade and then the champagne shade. Maybe these two would be nice to put over a blush if you want like a really, really dewy skin. But these are what I topped 
on top of the Kate Moss one, the Room of London. So really gorgeous, really, really beautiful, and I think this was under like $4. Checked over at Milani, which I think they had some new stuff as well. I haven't seen this. Then again, I haven't been to the drugstore in a very, very long time, so some of these still might be new to me, but um, they might not be that new to the drugstore. This, though, this palette really stood out to me by Milani. The only things I've tried from Milani are their blushes, which I love. They're some of my top three favorite blushes of all time. I love their formula, the big blushes. And then um, some of their Bella eyeshadows and their lipsticks. So this really caught my eye. I think they had um, a more pink toned version of this, like blush tones. And this one, it's the bronzier one. So I chose this guy. It is all that I have on my eyes today. I went in with first this matte shadow right here. Because, well, let's break it down first. You get these beautiful three um, shimmery shades. This is also a shimmery highlight shade, a champagne shade, um, a really bright pearl shade, and then this is also a matte, kind of deep chocolate brown. So you have two mattes here, the rest are shimmery. But this palette is so gorgeous. They are so incredibly pigmented and buttery smooth. They don't have any fallout, which was amazing to me. But yeah, this is what I have on my eyes today, and I just went in mainly with all of the colors except for I skipped out on the pearl shade, um, just because I feel like it's a little bit too bright for my skin tone. I want to say this was either $6.99 or $8.99, so that is a great price for a kind of just staple neutral palette. Speaking of Milani, I'm pretty sure this is not new at all, but this is something whenever I go over to Milani, I always want to pick this up. This is the Milani Powder Foundation. Um, and they just never have my color, so I never did. And I got mine in the shade number 3, Natural, which is a pretty good match to my like, natural complexion before I browns and everything like that. This is a very finely milled, it is so soft, it's amazing. Um, the coverage on it is not as good as I have hoped, but basically what I got this for was to put over my foundation on days that I want like that full flawless coverage. I haven't used this by itself yet, but I'm curious because I have also just wanted to have a staple powder foundation on days that I'm, you know, really in a rush or something and just want to even out my skin tone. I'm hoping that this will do the trick. I kind of wish that I had tested that out before coming on here, but I haven't yet. I'll, I'll probably do that tomorrow. And then speaking of powders, again, I do not think that this is new, but it caught my eye because I've been wanting to try out some more loose powders, especially for baking under the eyes. This is the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Perfecting Loose Powder. Um, I got mine in the shade Light just because I did not want a stark white one. I wanted, I was hoping to get something with more of a yellow undertone, but this one has more of like a beige undertone, which is great as well. This smells like my grandma, you guys. It is so crazy. Um, it smells... She would always use Borgesia makeup, so this smells identical to like Borgesia powders. Uh, it was funny though when I opened it and I smelled it, it's a very, very strong fragrance, but I'm okay with it because it just reminds me of my grandma. Um, but yeah, talking about the powder itself, comes with, um, you have like a little plastic thing that you take out first and then the powder comes out, but the powder is very finely milled and it just the hides your pores too, it's great. And so... I use that under my eyes today for the whole baking purposes. I like to use it with a damp beauty blender. I put that in there and then I do triangle motions. Um, you'll see all these products in action too with like the next tutorial I do. Probably I'll try and include some of these as well. But so far, no complaints about this. I really like it. Minus the smell, but again, I know a lot of people won't like that scent because it is very, very strong, but it reminds me of my grandma, so I'm okay with it. I needed a new mascara, so I picked up the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is their newer version, I think. I do have an older one, which I love. Um, this wand, the older version wand is more curved, which is actually something I prefer because it helps curl my lashes. I have naturally very long lashes, um, which I feel very blessed about, but at the same time, they, they're they long, but it's hard to get them to stay curled all day, and then they can look spidery very fast. So I really, really like this formula. I kind of wish that I repurchased this one instead, because the new one, packaging-wise, it's gorgeous. This is like the NARS packaging almost. It's like that matte black, really cute. And the wand is totally different. And the formula seems a lot more on the wet side. I'm wondering if, though, that's just because I recently just got it. I like my mascara to kind of dry out a little bit. I know that sounds weird, but um, this is what I have on my lashes today. And I don't know, far away they might look decent, but up close they are looking pretty spidery, especially these ones on the end. And this is two coats. Um, I do like it for my lower lashes, though, because it really kind of separates all of my lashes and defines them really well. 
But for my top lashes, um, this might be like a good lash topper if I go in with one that curls and thickens first. And then if I just want a little extra length, this would be really good. But for me personally, I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this. I'll probably go back and repurchase this guy. So that's it. No lip products. That's so weird. Yeah, let me know what else I should pick up from the drugstore, you guys. I plan on going back. I just wanted to get some new makeup because I have not bought any makeup in a long, long time. So it feels good to play with some new stuff. Yeah, that's everything, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, let me know down below what are some new things that you've been loving from the drugstore. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back. I missed you guys. It's been a minute. Um, so I don't even know where to start. Uh, this is going to be a sit down, chit chat, get ready with me update video. So I kind of wanted to fill you guys in on where I've been, what I've been doing, the whole shebang, but I wanted to do something else.